And they're off in the Shaker Town. Stitched, bad beat Brian. There's Caravel now. Caravel moves up and puts a head in front. Artemis City Limits right there to the inside. In the early going in second, bad beat Brian. Third up on the outside. Mr. Mmm is in the fourth spot, headed to the far turn. Stitched is fifth on the outside. Oceanic, sixth between horses. Arrest Me Red, seventh up on the outside. Nobly Motion, eighth down toward the rail. All in sync is ninth. Mark of the Z is tenth. Baker's Bay, eleventh. Johnny Unleashed, twelfth and last. Twenty-one point eight six seconds the time for the opening quarter. Caravel against the rail. Leads it by a half length. Bad Beat Brian is second by two lengths. Artima City Limits is in third. Mr. Mmm is in fourth. Stitch just fifth up on the outside. Arrest Me Red is still far back. Eighth of a mile to go. Caravel the leader. Bad Beat Brian is there. Stitch is there. Arrest Me Red on the far outside. Bad Beat Brian right alongside of Caravel. Arrest Me Red is third still four lengths away. Caravel fights on. Bad Beat Brian is right alongside. Oceanic is running late. Down to the wire. Car Care of Vell prevails by a neck in the Shaker Town for Tyler Gaffalione. The official winner of Keeneland's eighth race, 27th running of the Shaker Town Stakes, Grade 2. Number eight, Caravel, owned by Qatar Racing LLC of Sheikh Fahad Al Thani, owned also by Mark de Temple and Madiket Stables LLC of Saul Kuman. The trainer is Brad Cox, two wins today for jockey Tyler Gaffleone. Caravel, six year old mare by Mizzen Mast out of ZZ Zoom Zoom by Congrats, the winner bred in Pennsylvania by Elizabeth Merriman. One minute, 2.58 seconds for the five and a half furlongs over the turf listed good. Shaker Town trustee Megan F. Nicholson presents the trophy for the Shaker Town to the connections of Caravel. Caravel picking up another graded stakes win here in the Shaker Town at Keeneland Racecourt. Sheikh Fahad, part of Qatar Racing, the owner of this filly, and Tyler Gaffleon doing it for you once again. How was that surge back once Bad Beat Brian got a bit in front of you down late in stretch? Oh, man, I loved it. She showed so much heart there. She's a tremendous filly. I'm just lucky enough to be able to guide her around there. What is she like out on the racetrack? Does she just want to continue to be out in front of horses? Is that her mindset always? You know, it just depends on her break. She's very alert filly. She jumped well today, so I didn't want to take anything away from her. Congratulations, Tyler. Thanks so much. Sheikh Fahad, it was a difficult decision whether to come back this year, I'm sure, after what she had accomplished last year, capped off with a win in the Breeders' Cup, uh, but obviously justified given this performance. What was your mindset as she was passed late in stretch uh, by Bad Beat Brian? It was, it was nice to see her uh, gutsy performance. She did that in the Breeders' Cup, and she did this again today, and it is very hard once you get headed to, to come back again, but it was nice to see, and I think it bodes well for the future for her. Was it a diff how difficult was the decision to come back here in 2023 after what she accomplished last season? It wasn't that difficult, to be honest, because my brothers and I had a chat, and um, they want good horses running uh, around the world, and she fits the bill perfectly, so it wasn't that tough, to be honest. You've had success around the world, as, as you've mentioned. Uh, what's it like to win here at Keeneland? Oh, it's lovely. I always love winning in Keeneland. We had Peace and War win the Alcibiades uh, before, and... It's lovely to win great ones in Keenan and group races in Keenan. And it's a fantastic race course and fantastic atmosphere. And I'm happy to be here. Sheikh Fahad, congratulations. Thank you very much. Carabelle, Shaker Town winner, grade two at Keenan.